Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to talk about our daily routine. Hi guys, we've teamed up with Xenia Travel to share with you their app. Check it out, connect with other travelers, and tell your story. Yeah. Recently, what have I been doing? Learning some language. Oh, yeah. Ruski. <laughs> Ruski. Yes. Recently, we started learning, Jesse started learning Rus uh, Russian. <laughs> And he's doing so good. Everybody, all our friends are so excited. And my mom is super happy about that because they can communicate in the future better. <laughs> yes, and um, so that is the part of our routine. We already had about 60 views on that. Question. 70. 70 now, okay, mm -hmm. good. So yeah, so basically our daily routine is feel a little bit of anxiety sometimes. Yes. You know, uh, you know, people always ask, not always, a few, one or two, how do you afford everything that you're doing right now? Well, honestly, the rent over here is like $300, actually euros, but yeah. translate to English or English to American dollars, mm -hmm. it's about $400 a month, yeah. right? Yes. And you always have to feed yourself, so we eat fruits and vegetables. Yeah. It's not expensive, so to cover our daily routine of like how do you afford it so much, it's called savings, people. <laughs> <laughs> well, Save your money, <laughs> and you can do something, and it actually goes really far. Yeah. And we cook at home. We don't go often for dinners because they might be expensive a little bit. Well, but, that's it. I mean, it's five dollars for the salad. Yeah. It's four dollars for this. If you order some a drink or something and else, and then you times it by two, you're back at twenty-five dollars yes. sometimes. Yes. And if you do that once or twice, well, there you go. Yes. So we go to the little store right here. We buy everything we need, and like always, the first, I think the first week is always we spend a little bit more than usual because we have to get all the stuff and then figure out what we're gonna cook. Yeah. And so the first week is spending week. And then after it, you just cook the food you have. But also, yeah, we have like a bed following us now. <laughs> yes. Full of, we have our cutting board in there. From Bali. From Bali. We have spices that we picked up along the way, including in Bali. Mm -hmm. I have my coconut oil <laughs> from Bali. Yes. And we do have the utensils, like some cutting, not the ladle and the... ladle and the whisk. We bought it in Montenegro. We bought the mush, <laughs> mush potato thing. We bought it in Ukraine. <laughs> But also about a shredder here in Saranda actually. Yeah. But why do we buy all these things? Well, because we need them. Because not every apartment has it That's and it. we just need them. So instead of leaving it every time at each apartment, we just put the whole kitchen in Some the bag. Some things get pretty nasty when you go from apartment to apartment. Mm -hmm. And so it's just nice. I mean, we have the basics that we don't want to go and look for yeah. or ask for. They're just there. Because we know spoons, sometimes a knife, mm -hmm. uh, different things will always be there. Yeah. But sometimes you just go to an apartment, there's no cutting board, there's no cheese grater. It's last and some basics. So we do have that following us. So what else back to our daily routines? So we usually, what, we are trying to change our morning routine a little bit because we've been a little spoiled, I would say, and we'll wake up too late and the day is already kind of over. So we're trying to wake up early. But why is it Why is it that we sleep? We, it's like pitch shower. black in here. You wake up at seven, you think, it's the middle of the night. Yes. No. Yes. It's the middle of the night. Well, that's, they suggest that you're supposed to sleep in a complete darkness, but that's the difficulty with us to wake up at a proper time. 
So yeah, we try to, in our minds, we would like to wake up at seven o'clock. Yeah. You know, before full of energy. energy. Yeah, full of, yeah. And we're gonna have to run. <laughs> no, because in we- In my mind. I mean. Yes. Because we did wake up early in Bali, for example. We wake up early and we go do things. Because it had white ready. linen drapes and there was no, and the chickens. Chickens, <laughs> yes, chickens. Oh, the guys who work next door, building a, another hotel, they were already there. We need him. Yeah, yes, yes. So, yeah, we had a lot of reasons to wake up early. Yeah, so Plus, it was warm. Come on. Yeah. When it's warm, it's easy to get out of bed. But when yes. it's cold, you're like, no. Yeah, so we still, we're still trying to be on our way. And also, I don't see very well because the pillows. The pillows and the They're bed. huge. I mean, they're like big. So what are you going to do today? Well, I have a trick. I'm going to open it up, take some stuff out to make it a little small. Because they, they are huge, even for, for me. I used <laughs> to like being... You're sleeping like this. I'm like, oh, I can't talk. And then you, you know, it's comfortable when you sleep on the side, but then the bed is like so god awful that sort of, I don't know. Anyways, I miss my memory from Back in that's China. in China. Yes. And you know, talking about things, I do travel with two pillows. Oh, he does. But currently, I don't. Why? Well, first of all, we went to on vacation for three weeks with two backpacks. I didn't bring much clothes. It was my first experience. You're gonna leave for three weeks. Should be right back. No problem. Famous last words. So I typically travel with two pillows, mm -hmm. and that's the reason why I most pillows I come across are jam packed. They're huge, and I can't sleep on them. So I travel with two pillows. But on this current trip, I was supposed to be gone for three or four weeks. Don't worry about it. You can suffer through it. But here it's been, and I can't even find those pillows again. So. So from morning we're going to the daytime. What do we do during the daytime, Jason? Well, we get up, we have breakfast. We have the same breakfast we eat much every day. I wouldn't say you've made me into a coffee drinker, but I drink a lot more coffee now. And it's okay. It's okay. It does help. So yeah, we have our morning breakfast. We have our coffee. I typically will do the dishes. Yeah. And then sometimes that could be 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. 12 o'clock. <laughs> doesn't matter yeah, sometimes. <laughs> And then I'll do my workout routine. Yes, Jesse have his workout routine, so you can check in the video. Right sometimes there. they take 20 minutes. Sometimes they take an hour. Yes, I'll each be, day is a different workout. I'll be honest. Some days I struggle because I just don't want to do it. <laughs> but, yeah, we all do, do sometimes. Yeah, so that the next we will typically go to lunch. Not out to lunch, but we'll start making lunch. Yes. Uh, sometimes do. you would type on the computer yes. doing some assignments. Yes, as at the computer work, video work, uh, Instagram, like all the social media stuff. Uh, JC sometimes works on the website, and we kind of work with the things we do for our social media. For yeah. now, just kind of stay busy a little bit. Yes. And then lunch will roll around. We'll have lunch. After lunch, sometimes we will go out for coffee or just go for a walk, depending on the weather, of course. Yeah. And then early evening kind of comes early. It's winter time, so around five, six o'clock it comes. We'll go home, prepare dinner, clean up from dinner, yeah. and then typically hang out in the evening. And yeah, if we didn't finish anything, we always anything. look for some type of series to watch. Yeah. So we'll watch that before we go to bed, and then we we'll get up and do it all over again. It sounds. I'm like, wow, so glamorous, but you know, just imagine if you're on a long layover and <laughs> don't know what's going on. Yes. That's kind of how you feel sometimes. Yeah. And we're very productive people, mm -hmm. and not being productive is actually kind of forces to find things to try to be productive at. I and mean, we've applied for jobs back in America. Yeah. We have been working on some other big projects. Uh, with My Living Furniture. Yes. We built websites. Uh, we've been doing articles. We've been mm -hmm. doing blogs. So we've also, I've also been learning Russian. So it's not that we don't do anything all day. I would say our routine changes from day to day. It's not constant. It's not like we have to go to work or we have to go here or we have to go there. 
it just I would say we kind of go with the flow and trying to do things that we do from day to day but sometimes it may change just like that and um, we just in that in that condition we're just okay with that for now we stay busy with ourselves and actually we get along so well sometimes yeah. we've been around each other so much 24 7 yes. and we still miss each other <laughs> <laughs> oh that's so yeah, yeah. so yeah but we have our time we have every couple has their moments too yeah yeah but yeah well, I don't know what else we can really say about our day-to-day -day routine. Well, uh, I, I wouldn't really wish it upon anybody in the world because we're productive people, you know, and we do productive things. But when you're kind of... We're not on a time schedule, I would say. There's no... We don't have to do something. We don't have limit of time we have to do from 8 to 10. No, we can do it at 9 or we can do it at 10 or we can do it at 6 p.m. at night, so... Yeah. But it's nice to be productive, it's nice to have a purpose, and it's really challenged us to find and do things we probably wouldn't do if we were having a daily routine that worked mm -hmm. and revolved around work. Exactly. So, yeah, but we don't sleep all day, we don't yeah. do nothing all day. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, we try to do something. Yes. Yeah. All right, anything else you want to add? I um, just want to say that share with us your routine. What do you do during the day? I know many of you also like us travel and tra travel full time or part time. How is your routine looks like? Share with us and we'll give you a shout out. Especially in lockdown. Yeah. God, I feel bad. I mean, these stories I've heard. We have people we've been following and even friends of ours and mine. They're stuck indoors. And I could just, I don't know. So please share with us what you guys have been doing during lockdown, some things that you kept yourself busy, and how you have made the most out of the situation. I think that's the thing that we can all kind of share and learn. It's just in one experience mm -hmm. that the whole world has had to endure together at the same time for such a long period. So in a way, it's kind of all brought us closer but three feet apart, <laughs> all at the same time. Yeah. So please share, comment, and absolutely describe and smash that like button. Thank See you, you for watching. Time. Bye.